hey guys welcome back to the channel um here with another reading coming for you guys um i already got a little message for the beginning i'm not sure this is going to be the full reading all the way through but i definitely heard like a golden opportunity is coming for someone a life-changing opportunity is significant um it definitely well it's going to differ for everyone that it would resonate with and before i heard sports for someone for someone else i heard modeling um, just know that whatever it is, it's like, yeah, it's coming directly to you. This is something, but I definitely was hearing something about beauty specifically for someone. And that's not for everybody. That won't be the area um, of which opportunity is coming from or for for someone or everyone. But definitely it is for someone. It's something about your features, your beauty, your appearance or style it's something about you that's very different you stand out i'm even getting like an opportunity just an opportunity in general is coming towards you because of something that's very different about you say it's like you're very intuitive it's going to be an opportunity that like suits your intuition it's going to be something that's a, like a fit for whatever it is that um maybe you're like good at or that like you've been blessed with message you're going to be getting a message i heard that before i even came on here like individuality something that you stand out with or for like you're gonna get so many confirmations or like you could have already been hearing this or like this could be like the first confirmation that i mean first um sign that you're getting um but yeah just some of you could already be in this position where you are already doing something that fits you really well um just know that everybody is on different timelines for you it could be like this is your confirmation for other people it's like they are already they could be already doing that but yeah we're wishing it's gonna be something that you were wishing for i also get or like other people really wish for this opportunity um again but just like it's, it's going to you um hmm. so something about the color purple could be significant i'm not saying that because i'm wearing purple but i definitely was hearing that in my head as for intuition since i was talking about intuition the movie the color purple could be significant with fulfillment here yeah you're gonna really 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 be fulfilled with whatever this opportunity or um i heard chance or something that's coming towards you so it'd be something that you wanted to do before but maybe you didn't really um I heard like throw yourself into it or you didn't really think that it would be cut the deck risk. You didn't really like throw yourself into it. Maybe you had an opportunity, but you were scared to like take the risk. Again, look who's at the bottom, individuality, but you are. It's like something may be coming back around for you because you are actually the one for something or you were, it's meant for you. Say something like, just say maybe somebody tried to sabotage the opportunity for you, but it's like something is still coming back around because it's like you're meant to be doing something or in a certain field it's even again have to do with with individuality um underneath it is the high priestess of spirit it's purple so something about your intuition could be really significant and look what's underneath it beauty <laughs> you're very different you stand out i'm just getting like sources like look what can i say you're somebody who i heard you've been blessed by god like with some form of like you just have a very beautiful aura i'm hearing too or like not just on the outside but i just the inside thing you're very radiant but i'm also getting like it's like it's like your intuition too it's like your spiritual anointing and power that makes you very beautiful like the way that you're like a light to other people but also again somebody may be very just like beautiful not maybe but you are <laughs> again with oh i just feel like something is coming your way with the risk that you may even have to like throw yourself into or like be devoted to or look hope something that you were like hoping for something that you were wanting once upon a time fulfillment and then yeah it will be fulfillment but again as i was feeling it i was feeling like something pertaining to like your beauty individuality here and again it's nope that it's the moon on her forehead so something about your intuition leading you towards like an opportunity or you you lead with like your your intuition or your heart you have a very beautiful um again like in, I, I want to say aura but intuition is coming out too so somebody's intuition is like very powerful fulfillment here so you could even feel like some form of fulfillment is coming in for you and if you don't feel like that you should feel like that <laughs> you need to start feeling like that because that could also help to like raise your vibration so that you're more in alignment with like an opportunity oh wow of course uh, we have deceit here so watch out for people that are like eyeballing if people could like eyeball your your beauty i'm not gonna lie like you're like a rose um people thought feel, feel like you're just very different you're very rare i'm hearing you are not cut the same cut from a different cloth here it's like something about the way that everything about you i'm hearing just from the way you carry yourself the way you talk even 
Like, you're not trying to be nobody else but yourself. And again, for some of y'all, y'all have, like, a very strong ancestor that's with you that helps to guide you. With this high priestess of spirit, you have very strong spirit guides around you. You are not to be played with, I'm hearing. And there's something about the... I'm hearing heels. Heels. Not heels. High heels. But somebody may like to walk in high heels, but I'm hearing heels. I, I know I'm, I probably got an accent. H-U-E-S, I believe. Hues. H-U-E-S. Hues. Like, colors. Or something about the purple, like... Or like somebody may like those. Somebody's favorite color may be purple, you know, pinkish, pink or purple or red even. Yeah, it's just that's very feminine. I'm getting. Y'all could be speaking to like a divine feminine, but um, with deceit here, people really be like possibly like jealous of your beauty or try to like deceive you. And guess what? I'm getting like you're protected. You could even be somebody who's very, again, like a very feminine, soft. Even if you're masculine, like you, you move with your emotions or like not move with emotions, but you're someone who you care. Um, and again, this is also why some type of change is being permitted to come in for you. But I'm also getting with forbidden here in a door. Whoever was sending you some form of like evil eye or like I'm just getting sources of removing people from your life who could have even been like slandering you behind your back or just people who are not meant to be accessing a certain level of like um again you are just somebody who's very guided so it's like you know who to disconnect from at this point or you will know and i'm even getting again something about the doors that are closing with certain people or certain blocks that are being put in place so that certain people can't touch your energy and again look what's underneath that is success so it's like if you if the door is being closed this is like not even a handle it ain't even no fucking doorknob on that door you know why there's no access granted. Somebody is no way that these people could get back into your energy. At least this is how they feel, especially that they have mysteriously blocked from you and your successes. And look, listening, you are someone who listens to your intuitions, which is why you've been guided towards some level of success. You are someone, again, you are very favored by source. So that means you are someone, obviously, that source sees has like a, a, a really, again, you're beautiful and not just on the outside because people could be very beautiful, but have very tormented and ugly and miserable spirits. Okay. So it's like, you're somebody who I feel like, again, your ancestors really walk with you. They really, I heard, they, they, same way you have like faith in them, they have like faith in you. They know that like you are the one or like you are to be trusted. You are someone of good um, faith or something like that. You are trusted. You're, you have a good spirit. You know how animals, I'm hearing like, okay, this is, thank you, source. Some animals can just sense when somebody's spirit is good, like, or when they have a good spirit or they have a good heart or they're a good person on the inside, like some horses and like just animals in general. They're usually good with like uh, sensing a good a spirit on a person, but um, that's what I'm getting. Like the, like the divine or like your spirit guys really love you um, because you're a beautiful person inside and out and um yeah that's why some type of some level of success that's being permitted to you it's because you're listening to your guidance possibly even to disconnect from certain people who they weren't meant to be in your energy or they were only meant to be like a lesson with deceit here and again I, I i get the sense that a very good opportunity is coming for somebody and again um i was hearing loudly like again it could be like modeling for somebody now that's not for everybody everybody's going to be like specifically for something that's good for you but for someone in particular and i just get with individuality like something about like just little things about you is very striking i'm hearing or different like it could be like your facial structures your lips your bone structures or like your eyes and somebody really likes like little features about you or something like that or you really just stand out and like it's like something pertaining to like your beauty you really radiate um this light or shine like um beauty and very divine energy and this is why some form of success is coming in for you okay but yeah i don't know who this person was but it's given like people are being blocked from your energy um just know that these changes i'm here and allow them to happen go with the flow that are happening in your life and things may seem a little complicated right now, but it's like an opportunity that's going to be coming around for you. You're going to understand why Source was trying to get your attention about closing out cycles with certain people. Or is there certain things that you were learning in life? Um, because you are someone who is like um, very different, possibly from those who are around you for a very long time. Something about cherry blossoms could be significant. Again, it was something about the energy of like with this trap, people wanted to like hold you back trap you crabs in a barrel energy or, or like look we're letting go but you're letting go of those energies these come here these people know that they have to let you go it's giving that energy from uh what is it called inside out too when she was telling anxiety like you gotta let her go so somebody could even battling like anxiety your own mm, your own just habits or things that you were just like shadow side for some of y'all, this was like other people that were in your life where like they wanted to have a say in like what you do, what you what, what opportunities you take or how you see yourself. But it's like now you're coming to this. I'm hearing like you're coming more into yourself with individuality. Look, 
powerful summon. This is a card all about like personal power. I feel like you've summoned like this form of like personal power to take these leaps of faith forward. People see you as somebody who like you take risks, even if these risks um, I'm hearing if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again with movement. But now you've gotten to a point where I feel like now you got the ball rolling in your life and things are like moving forward or you will be at this point. It's just giving like keep um, practicing. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing practical magic now in a movie. Somebody could really like that. Somebody may be practicing like their um, manifestation skills or like magic or um, summoning their own like whatever you want in your life. Again, something about the color purple. Somebody may really be working on like their intuition, their spiritual journey. But it's again something about that you're taking forward movement on or that source is I'm hearing giving you the green light to go forward with or some type of opportunity is going to be coming in really fast. Loyalty. It's really fun like that. Ooh, this is really going to be something that's really good for you. Well, understanding. So, yeah, like I said, you're going to be like um in a place of like understanding your own power now. Or in the past, I heard misplaced. I don't know if you felt, I don't, I don't know what that's about, misplaced anger or misplaced, like you felt like you misplaced your power, you were putting it into the wrong things or something like that. But it's definitely giving me the energy of like, um, you're now understanding your full power. And baby, this is what people possibly were afraid of when it came to you. I mean, if it's the high priestess of fire, baby, you are bad number two. You look good. You just look good. You feel good. Again, it's a light to you. You're very connected to spirit. So how could you lose? Something about a change is coming in for you. The color red could be significant. Somebody could have red hair. I heard red head. Somebody could be like a natural red head with fulfillment. But baby, you're finna get fulfillment. Somebody could have like a tattoo or in their back of like a bird or like a um a peacock, a red bird. Yeah, but baby, some form of fulfillment is coming in for you. Um, and I just get again something is really going to be what is that word? It's like the momentum is picking up for something in your life. People feel like you're on fire. I'm hearing the girl on fire. Uh, Hunger Games. Oh, yeah. Like that Katniss Everdeen type of energy. Like it's giving like people may see you as somebody who is like uh, very protected, first of all. But also like you got this fire in you where like, you know, how she started like that energy of like now you got people wanting to fight the system. Like, I don't know. Like you could be somebody who a lot of people like look up to or like you have like a very revolutionary energy type of energy. Um. I'm hearing something about like the quote, um, God is within her, she will not fail. Psalms 46, 5. <laughs> so yeah, God is within you, you will not fail, okay? Yeah, somebody's really just protected. And this is like, it's all over you. It's like a radiance. Fulfillment, you're going to get fulfillment. Like, let's just look honesty. <laughs> this is the truth, baby. Somebody may be like, lighting candles or something. Um, you can finna get some form of truth, okay, with strength. Like, yeah, you got another type of spiritual strength on you. And it's because of, like, these, like, I feel like you have a certain type of spiritual, like, background or something. But, like, spirit guides that are really, like, your roots. You're here, like, your spiritual roots. Listen, and I was gonna say, um, because this card is very significant, I even feel like that's confirmation. Um, because it says, don't forget, reminder. So, it's like a reminder of who you are. Somebody is really, like, now awakening to who you truly are. And I was even getting the energy of, like, Bonnie Bennett. And, you know, how all those other witches were, like, like even Freya, even though she was in, like, a sleep coma, if you know what I'm talking about with the Vampire Diaries and the originals, um, if you know, you know. But she was a witch who, like, she knew about her background, kind of, but she didn't really know too much because she wasn't, like, practicing growing up. Like, she was, like, in high school when she first started, like, getting into all of that. So, it was, like confirmation like somebody may even been like you just now awakening to like who you truly are like with your capabilities your abilities your powers your intuition or just maybe how good you are and something it don't even got to be like on a spiritual sense but you know it could be um maybe you didn't really know that maybe somebody didn't know how like beautiful they were and that's like you started taking pictures and they were like girl why don't you post more why don't you and i don't know it's just like somebody's going to be getting fulfillment through something that maybe you you may have even forgotten about something that you were good at something that you wanted it's a reminder but i'm even getting especially pertaining to your own personal power what you're capable of who the fuck you are on a spiritual and a physical level okay because <laughs> i heard it runs deep it runs real deep Okay, so yeah, you finna get some form of fulfillment. I heard like you are this like energy of like the forbidden fruit for people. People may feel like that energy of you can um you can look but you can't touch. <laughs> people may feel like you're a temptation to them, or I don't know. Um, I remember, I'm even hearing like you may even be going into something where there may be a lot of temptations to where you're gonna have to stand really firm and true to yourself. But especially because 
um again you are someone who's very beautiful so maybe you have to discern when people are coming around for like just to like uh, treat you like a like a, a sports fish or i don't it's like you know um just benefit off of your good energy or your beautiful heart or aura or whatever i feel like because you're so obedient to the divine you have some form of justice coming in you are someone who again you move with dignity i'm hearing something about you've been healing like the inner child don't forget about like your don't forget about your inner child that's significant but again because you've been doing the inner work i feel like you could be in a very lighthearted energy very carefree and youthful i feel like somebody's embodying this energy where um again some form of like i heard that scripture like in the bible i, I i'm not really good with like quoting bible scriptures like spot on but i'm hearing the one where it's like um no hurt will come to you but you may watch other people like fall like um something about ten thousand may stand against you or something like that or something about falling at you scripture is okay because thank you so <laughs> so i'm getting them today um a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked but you have made the lord your refuge the most high your dwelling place no evil shall befall you no scourge come near your tents and this is what i was hearing for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands mm, they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone psalms 91 7 12 so it's like baby you are very protected you're not like i said you're not the one or the two okay um and again somebody that could have been like really sending you negative energy i'm hearing like rallying against you this person could have been trying to get other people to go against you which is a very strong evil eye or hatred that somebody may have had for you and even like you know that hatred sometimes is just love disguises hatred because people are on such a low vibration they don't know how to rise above to really show you that love but i'm definitely getting for some of y'all this could even be like a water sign doing this to y'all or somebody with heavy water in their chart i'm even getting for some of you guys they're hating on the fact that you're very like loving with the love that you receive and this person may not even know why they were acting this way towards y'all, but I definitely get that it was a sense of like, this is somebody who, because you see, I keep skipping past this energy. Y'all may not have been paying this person no attention or you don't need to um, because this is a very low vibrational, hateful person or just, I'm even getting, for, it's not even just one person. It's giving like, because you're receiving some form of fulfillment and that person just very persistent. Somebody may be persistent in their like efforts to like bring you down, dim their light or it's a fucking hater. It's like they're a weirdo and they're a hater and if they're can't, they can't stop nothing. Look who's coming. This person is not going no fucking way and I'll keep shuffling, but you still getting your fulfillment. Somebody may even hate the fact that they see you as fulfillment, but like maybe you don't want nothing to do with this person or like this person is a hater for some of y'all yeah definitely been like a water sign or somebody who was um hating on your i heard spiritual abilities your loving energy the risks that you were taking they were trying to complicate things for you they were trying to fog other people's view of you or complicate um a situation more than it had to be somebody who definitely was hated on the fact that you are in an energy of like receiving fulfillment or you will be soon i'm getting so watch out for that it's definitely a thing of like um hmm And you could, I don't know, it's something about, like, your strength. And you need to listen to your intuition in the situation. Like, it's something about your strength that somebody could just be like, how are you still going in a situation that will little things be knocking this person down? But it's like, your strength and the fact that you're still, we're still I'm even getting it. It's because, look, well, honestly, thank you, Source, because Source is letting me know, yep. Um, somebody's wondering, like, who your spirit guides are with this high pieces of spirit or, like, where your spiritual strength. Remember I said your roots run deep. Um, this this fucking hater or whoever this person was that was trying to like deceive y'all but you are so like, intuitive you could have seen something coming before somebody could even like play their hand i'm hearing and that's what pisses somebody off more than anything um with strength here um you are too intuitive your spiritual roots run way too deep that's why it's like with strength is a tree you are very strong like a, i heard like an oak tree or something like a um talking about weeping willows could be significant um that's a very specific tree um yeah, something about conversation, something about speech. You speak with truth and dignity. I'm hearing people trust what you have to say. Somebody wanted to like, uh, somebody was in denial, possibly even about, again, how they felt about you or the fact that you are who you who you say you are. The fact that maybe you are walking in some form of fulfillment. Um, it's just giving like somebody, they're just sending you evil eye because of your, like some form of strength that you're standing in, that they look complicated. That possibly, again, they were trying to complicate things for you, but I heard that to no prevail. To no prevail. 
you're going to start seeing people get karma on here and it's not going to touch you. Daniel's in alliance, uh, Daniel in alliance then. With movement here, you're still going to be permitted to move forward. And I'm hearing look forward. Sodom and Gomorrah, do not be looking back to the past. Source has removed you from certain areas and I heard participations and situations because it wasn't um, in alignment with you. Understand that the more I heard like Hancock, that Hancock energy is something about like the more you get away from certain people or things like the more you get you gain your strength back or like and people may be seeing this about you a certain glow coming back to you. And it's even having people wondering, look, they watching. Like, was it me? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you could have been pushed out of certain situations to where you had to move forward. You had no choice. Look, we're. If you would have stayed stuck, I'm here, you would have stayed blocked. And look, as this movement, for movement, other people are now blocked from your energy. Well, honestly, that's the truth. That's the, what the full truth. Something about salt is significant. Somebody may be salty with trapped and letting go. Now these people feel trapped now that you're letting go and you're transforming with these butterflies. Something about um, blue, yellow, or orange butterflies. If you're seeing that, that's confirmation. Somebody may have even seen like a, a purple butterfly. I don't even know if those exist. I'm hearing purple. I saw a yellow one the other day. I've never seen one. I, I, I guess they exist. Mm, pretty. Oh, purple emperor butterflies. It's a lot of emperor maybe significant. I don't know. But look, with focus, you got your focus back. It's something about I'm hearing uh, Stella got her groove back. <laughs> It don't matter how old you are, just like you're in a very self-focused time in your life where maybe you were putting it on other people at one point where now that you're letting go. I'm hearing that energy of, um, come on, let it go, just let it be, why don't you do you and I'll do me, or something like that. Leave it to the breeze. Let me see. Cause I feel like those lyrics. So come on, let it go. Just let it be. Um, he says in a song, I used to recognize my, I used to recognize myself. It's funny how reflections change when we're becoming something else. I think, I think it's time to walk away. So come on, let it go. Just let it be. Why don't you be you and I'll be me? So it's something about you being yourself at this point. Like I'm here to hear what like other people think. Again, you could have been really like focused on just other situations or people that were keeping you almost like in a, a trapped energy more than you were trying to like you maybe have to, were trying to like grow with people or like whatever the case may be. Could it even be like a situation? I just feel like you couldn't fully be yourself in certain situations or you couldn't fully blossom. But now that you're releasing someone or something or just whatever it is, it could have even been like a mindset. You're going to now transform with those butterflies there. Um, a very transformative energy where now you're self-focused. With confidence here, something about your confidence could even be peaking. Ooh. Like you could be you could be could have made yourself like a promise. Like look with oath and belonging here. I'm telling you, somebody could be like, you belong in a certain space or a certain opportunity. Um a sense of belonging is gonna come back where you could have felt like you, you didn't belong in certain spaces before, almost like an energy of like longing, or like you felt like you could you didn't fit in, you didn't belong with certain people. People didn't want you to feel like you belonged. 
Um, although, yeah, you've always stood out, I'm hearing, because you are always different. The oddball out type of energy. But you're going to find someone or a certain, yeah, 2444, so it's 444 um belonging here you're very protected i'm hearing it and people who were making you feel like you didn't belong in certain areas or spaces and certain relationships or you didn't deserve the best version of them it's like listen you're going to find someone or a certain opportunity for some of you it's like that is going to just show you that you weren't asking for too much you, you and first of all you were being protected again in situations where you may have wanted to seat at the table where your ancestors would have flipped that shit you would put in those spaces to bring certain things to light to to make people see certain things about themselves where you don't want me to set your table well baby what fucking type of type of table is this anyway no <laughs> but you were just putting certain uh foundations anyway to like i feel like teach people something about themselves but also teach you something about yourself and again, some type of opportunity that's coming your way once you finally release, like maybe something you were holding on tightly to, it's like you're with the belonging here and oath. Like, yeah, you're good. Source is like making somebody a promise that like you are going to be set. I'm hearing like something is really going to be, I'm just getting a little very like, I heard a lot of them. I'm hearing like presti prestigious, prestigious. Something about, something about somebody could be going to like a really, like something about school, something about somebody's schooling, something about somebody's like um, future is really going to be set though. I'm getting like a really set future. And again, something about the color purple, you're really like divine royalty. Or get something about your like intuition or success here. You look with differences, but your differences are what actually got you this opportunity. I'm, again, I'm getting like something about your features are very different. You stand out. Say it's something like something that you were seeing as like a, you didn't really like it at first. Maybe I'm hearing like maybe it was something that you saw as like a flaw. Say somebody is like that, that vit what is it, vitiligo? Or it's like somebody has something with like something that you can't help about yourself. Like uh, what is that called? Alopecia. But it's like you're going to get like an opportunity where somebody's going to be like, I find it to be very beautiful. I find it to be very different. I find it to be the very, the most interesting. Like that's very interesting. Tell me more. Like it's what caught my attention. And it's like, it, it gets you like, I'm hearing like an opportunity where like, again, maybe people shunned you for that in the past because you were different. Rather than accepting you and your differences, it's like, but it taught you to accept yourself. It taught you to love yourself despite what other people were saying about you at Moon. It's like something was very hidden about you, though, through these differences. People couldn't see that you were the gift, like, despite some type of flaw that they may have seen upon you or something. But, but you're still, it's like, despite it, you are still seen as beautiful. And I'm just getting, like, no matter what people may have thought about you or seen you as or whatever flaw that you may have thought you had or imperfections, did, you're made by the divine by source so you are wonderfully beautifully and perfectly made there are no imperfections in you there was no flaw in your dna or code when you were made period no matter what type of mental issues or whatever you may feel like you deal with or you may have been diagnosed with you're still beautiful and perfect in the way that you are and all that you are a male woman feminine trans whatever you identify as she he they them so it's like whatever people may have tried to shun you for that maybe they didn't understand about you, but now you're getting a sense of understanding about yourself because that's what I'm getting that matters. You love yourself. You're very different. People may have tried to make it seem like, well, she's too, you know, you're too just, you just too serious all the time. You're too different. Or you too, you too, why is everything always about spirituality? This spirituality. Do you meet somebody or opportunity that's like, you're going to have to use your intuition like this. So now you see why maybe you weren't meant to be friends. Look, love. Something about the color purple. You weren't meant to be around those people. Even if it's like a certain, I'm just getting like person that you meet. I'm like a sisterhood I'm hearing because I don't know, I'm getting like the color purple her and her sister. You know how they try to disconnect them. So something about like sisterhood could be significant. Um, People could have been in denial about the fact that you are just this very loving being. You move with love. You are very loved. Um, But I'm definitely getting, yeah, and I was at the front of the day. Some type of love, something that you're going to really love is coming towards you. This can even just be like an energy of being surrounded by love, being poured into by others. You are very loved. Something that's going towards you, coming to you, that's going to be very successful. I heard very loud rooting for you. So it's something about your ancestors. That could be your ancestors, but I just heard rooting for you, rooting for you. So it could be like you have a really big group of people who are rooting for you, um, where it's like your ancestors are rooting for you. I want to say um, you could be somebody who a lot of people lust over too. I heard be careful of people lusting over this energy of like you or like your this form of success or some type of it's like a, I heard like an ID it's like a um first of all idol, idolization but I got people are putting their they are like for the wrong reasons people may see you from the outside looking in and be thinking like oh this person got it all going and they don't have no problems they got a perfect life but with invisible they don't see like what you really it's like from the outside looking in and it's like a lust energy like just be careful of that because those type of people will never fully be able to understand you and all that you are um, especially if they can only like appreciate your beauty and not the like parts that make you you. So I'm just de definitely getting the energy of when you start accepting you, when you start loving you. It's even the energy of that girl who is um on look you guys with self worth. It's even the energy of that girl who was um she was at the, she was she got an opportunity for modeling like at like a 
what was it like a Lollapalooza event or something like some type of rave or something that she was at a concert and for modeling and she's like she's like very dark skin and beautiful like a very she's like a goddess I don't know she just looked very um like she looked like a fucking model like girl she just like she just wasn't given like the opportunity to be so like you could look like um or maybe people didn't see you as fitting something at one point or like you you get an opportunity whether, whether people see you fit for something or not um, cause you listen to something about your self worth, or you listen to when source was telling you that maybe certain people were just lusting after you. They were in your face or in your energy for the wrong reasons, or it helps you to evade being deceived or to evade living a very unfulfilled, unhappy life. Um, cause you're going to be put into alignment with what's for you when you listen, and you could even be a little nervous. I heard this is an energy of people being nervous about what's coming towards you because they know who you are at heart. With loyalty, this can even be like people who are more loyal to you coming towards you, and whereas people in the past who know they weren't loyal to you, they know that it, you look with warrior and loyalty. You got loyalty coming towards you, or somebody who's going to be very like could be an emperor, very loyal and protective of you, especially if these people from the past weren't and you were expecting them to be. You're now taking a leap of faith forward or a risk. Somebody could really have like a lot of passion for you too. This like warrior energy. Um, but it's not just like a sexual thing. Something could be very hidden right now in some form of a change that you guys don't see coming. This could come as like I'm hearing um a wrecking ball like that song by Miley Cyrus. Um something that's coming in very like I saw the message card with focus. Somebody's really hyper focused. This could be like an opportunity, a message of opportunity, someone who wants to communicate with you. Again, something could come in almost like chaotically or after a chaotic period in your life where you're going to finally see that, okay, you're still on the right path. You're going to get like a message that like lifts your vibration or lifts your spirit. I'm going to because you deserve that. Like even when I was like, I'm not going to say what it was when I was finally in the process of like relocating and moving and it was just like a lot going on around that time. Uh, fuck. <laughs> And that's the energy I'm just getting, like, um, and it was, like, a message, an email that I got that really just was, like, bro, it just let me know that, like, okay, look, you may be going through, like, some form of, like, hardships or, like, it just seems like a lot, a lot of chaos is happening, but just know that you are watched, you are loved, you are covered, you are favored, you are protected, you are selected. Again, it's something about you being very loved by the divine and the opportunity still coming your way. And just remember your self-worth at the end of the day. Look what just flipped out message. You're going to get that message as confirmation. It's going to be a message from the divine coming towards you. I'm even hearing like messages confirming that yes, you, you like maybe needed to leave certain people out in the cold with loyalty, people who were disloyal to you. Where now you can find or align with those people who are very the fledgling new beginnings. You could be in the beginning stages of something where you're now finding your footing. You're now stepping out of that cocoon energy where you're again like learning how to spread your wings and fly. You're stepping out of the nest type of energy. Somebody could be getting like their first place for the first time, stepping into it like their independence. But it's like you're going to be meeting people who are like loyal to you, um, who could. Be a, a, a mirror equally yoked to you with something again that you are wishing for that is going to be like a new beginning coming with the fledgling again even if you don't feel like you have the credentials or like you know everything about a certain area i'm hearing like step out on faith this could even be very shocking or surprising to other people um again i heard because again something that pe people may have judged you for to see with the high priestess like yeah it could even be like you are very intuitive um, I'm getting like to see that this is going to you because they saw that they may have thought that you weren't deserving. Again, say that somebody has like again like a disorder, or, like this, like it's really called like a disorder or something, or like maybe people saw it as like this or like an imperfection, but it's like divine still is like um going to just give you something because it's like it's showing people you could even be like opening new doors for like maybe something that maybe people it wasn't a lot of awareness about something. Um, with vision here, yeah, this could even be like a certain type of vision that you got, like spirituality. But it's something that your vision could be telling you was coming in that you've been wishing for. I'm even getting again, like you're going to be helping to like men, um, like the way that people see a certain something. This could be like a maybe spirituality. You know how people have a certain um, idea about spiritualists. Like people are seeing that, okay, actually it's not evil. That's actually something that could be very healing if we use it the right way. If we use the tools, look with the emperor. You could even be helping like an emperor. Like you could be this emperor energy standing in your power. You could be helping an emperor, Pisces, Aries energy, um, and Pisces, Cancer, Aries energy. To see their full potential, um, you could be somebody's full on like wish fulfillment. But many people in the past made you feel like you had to change, you had to do this, you had to look him on some. <laughs> but somebody sees again, like something about like I heard like you could be silently like walking away from situations. Um, some type something about when you left certain situations, you could have been feeling a lot, and so maybe you didn't really share this. Somebody is like very like again like beautiful. I'm just getting like. You could be meeting somebody who's like very as, as beautiful as you inside and out with the Ace of Pentacles page of swords. People are gonna be watching you receive people are gonna be watching you receive an opportunity. Some form of like money or like um 
king of wands somebody may want to come towards you and give you like opportunity or could have been like somebody who be like obsessed with your energy or somebody could be like a fire sign like obsessed with like some form of like opportunity that you're getting or like you you could be this empress um but somebody's definitely gonna be like watching people i'm here you get i heard like an upgrade or after you left or walked away from them that's when something aligned with you this could even just because you were more focused on yourself. So it allowed you to do more. It allowed you to be seen more. It allowed you to get more active on that platform. It allowed you to like focus more on your own endeavors with the three of wands. Again, that distance. The people could feel like you're distancing yourself from them. Um, almost like you people could feel like you're juggling them and like a lot of other things like you don't have time for them or even like you maybe you juggling them in a sense of like maybe people feel like romantically, but I don't feel like that's the case. I mean, I hope, I hope not, but um, I just feel like you're actually taking action now on things that you want. And I heard it could even be like family members with this Ten of Pentacles. Again, some form of abundance is coming in for you. And people could feel like you're in that more self-focused or self nine of cups. Like you, it's like you almost, I'm hearing like you want your cake and eat it too. But it's like, <laughs> it's my party. I can cry if I want some type of energy, but you're not crying. You're actually like eating the cake. It's like you are actually like, almost like celebrating yourself or focused on yourself. But it's the energy that you're going to be moving in. And people could feel like you're moving in a very, high, the high priestess self-focused energy. And again, you're not telling them too much. You're being, you're, you're staying to yourself. Like you, you are keeping your accomplishments to yourself. You're not, you're no longer really, um, I heard you're no longer really interested in getting these people's like congratulations or approval. Or like maybe you were excited to share certain information with people in the past until you saw that they weren't as happy for you as you thought they would be. Or like, I don't know. It's like somebody's now, you they, this has these people worried. And not the stories about how you're moving forward. Somebody could be born in 1999 or the year 99 is significant with the high priestess. You're just very intuitive. Um, and again, I feel like somebody's, it's something about this energy that you're moving forward in the present. Um, people who are almost like in secret competition with you even. Or like, it, it, it kind of just gives the energy of people feeling defeated to see you. Um, definitely people who were trying to deceive you, people who were trying to get over on you. You are her avoiding that shit. You trust in your intuition and, gui and guidance and they feel that you're still, despite all of they, their efforts... Um, they feel very blocked by you, especially if they try to make you feel to project that energy onto you. Like you guys are still moving forward. Like you guys are choosing to move forward because you see the truth now. It's giving an energy of like, um, somebody could like blueberries, blueberries, blueberries are the color. <laughs> you have a very like healing aura to you. People could see it's like a very earth angel energy with the nine of pentacles. Um, I definitely feel like something about somebody's birthday could be like the winter time or the winter could be significant. Um, I heard like, again, something about an a angel that watches over you is significant. They could be helping you and it's like something that you're with the full card taking a leap of faith towards. Something could be like a, a like, you know, like a juggling thing, like you're juggling a lot or like a, you're going to pull something off though is what I'm getting with the two of cups. It could even be like a relationship or some form of like, um, close that's coming in in a situation with you and someone else just something that's going to be really successful that i do feel like you're being urged to take that risk towards especially if you are single right now um yeah with the moon look what's here again the moon the emperor okay so let me just go ahead and read these the moon the emperor we got the three of swords and we have the five of wands so for some of you there is like an emperor energy who i do feel like they could be in a, almost like they feel conflicted it's something about like a pisces or aries because of a four of wands. I don't know if this is somebody y'all were in a relationship with at one point or who could want a relationship with you. Well, let's see what's going on with the devil. This could have been somebody that was very, like, toxic. I don't know if their form of communication was very toxic. Somebody could have had a very toxic way of, like, speaking to you. Toxic, very toxic habits about this person with death. So you could have ended something with this person. It could have been, like, a baby's father's a baby's mother. A very, like, masculine, almost, like, energy, though. Somebody who seeks control. And Scorpio, Capricorn energy out here, Aries, Pisces, Cancer. I feel like you could have ended things with this person or this person feels like they have no longer have control over a situation or some form of illusions that they were trying to spread or cause for you with the high priestess here because your intuition is telling you all I'm hearing. Your intuition could have clued you in about somebody not truly being for you with the Empress here because again, it's like you are very protected. Your guys are going to let you know what's up. And I feel like that time is over with again. And somebody knows that like a bigger opportunity is coming in for you with that Ace of Pentacles. And I was definitely getting with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, again, people especially who try to make you feel like something was wrong with you. It's any shit wrong with you. And they're going to watch like, look, you, with, you are in this high priestess, empress energy. Very ethereal energy you have to you. Very like you could be very spiritual or very tapped in. People see you as somebody like yours. Your intuition could be very like scary. Look, y'all, I'm a very ethereal. Somebody's like very ethereal. 
very like esoteric <laughs> you can wear like robes or like cloaks somebody likes to walk around like in robes or like in their house or like because i got like a pink robe or gold robe pink and gold silver and gold <laughs> silver and gold i'd rather have jesus so yes <laughs> i don't know that's not as hilarious it's not hilarious but it's because i saw a video that was funny related to it but i'm laughing because yeah the video popped up but the song is not itself is not hilarious we love a good gospel banger okay <laughs> so an aquarius um a leo even with the world card the sun card could be significant but i feel like somebody is in this energy you're in this star sun card energy you're going into a new cycle to where baby i feel like baby you're gonna be on the girl on fire i'm just seeing the chariot i'm seeing the chariot in my third eye but the girl on fire is giving me the, again that Katniss everything energy where you come into like a foundation of say you know how they were doing like the hunger games for a while and then, then she came in and it's like oh shit hit the fan like when Katniss hit the scene like but again she wasn't the first remember that if you watch i haven't even watched the other one which i've been wanting to but um, I believe it was the real, um, who is that? Her name was Katniss, but the other one was named, I don't know what she was, to, I forgot her name, but the one who was like before Katniss, who Snow was like, in, it was in Snow's time. So it's like, you could be like, the baton was passed to you to follow on with some mission or some form of a legacy or purpose um or just an opportunity that maybe your ancestors were praying for or wanted themselves or like they would have just been honored to receive but they it's like something that's going to you um i would just get like again some form of wish fulfillment with the star of the world card it could even be something where a lot of people are watching someone online or watching someone receive this energy and again you are shining and again i just feel like people are, again i heard like you're gonna be watching people receive karma and no hurt is going to come to you in this season because you are so protected. No matter what people are wishing upon you, sending your way, deceit, whoever was sending that deceit. You saw, you saw how that energy kept coming out. And look, as I'm talking about that, we got the eight of swords and the ten of swords. These people are worried because you are a healer. It's something about you really being like in this healing energy where you're moving forward. Ace of Cups, because somebody feels like once you really fully heal or like you move forward, first of all, you're going to be guided to like move away from these people and it's going to hurt them ultimately. Or like you just, first of all, some of y'all have already been guided away from these people, but it's fucking with them mentally because they know that you're going to be loved. She will be loved. Maroon 5. These people are going to be in regret that you receiving this new love. Somebody's like a mermaid. People could see you as like a very like siren mermaid type of energy or like you're just very beautiful. Ace of Cups, you're very loved. Ace of Swords, you're very beautiful. Somebody's like a very, somebody could have like a lot of water in their chart or like, um, uh, just giving like a very, with this Ace of Swords, like you, a lot of people could feel like they are like, they have like a soul connection with you to Two of Cups. <laughs> and some of y'all could have like a relationship coming in, but, um, I mean, people could definitely feel like they have like a soul connection with you. I would say definitely people from the past, especially who did not treat you right who did not see your work at the time or did not invest in you the way that they were supposed to, baby, don't worry about them people. Especially people who tried to play on your kindness because they know that you had a good heart, you were a sweetheart. People could have really saw that you were like, or felt like you were somebody naive at one point because you moved with love, but you were really just somebody who like, you move in love. Um, You know that that's just who you are in a core, at core and people tried to get over on you or people thought that that would never run out because they, whatever the case may be, People were breadcrumbing you purposely, I'm hearing. People wanted you to feel like, again, you didn't deserve a certain opportunities or their full investment or full attention. Full, and it was purposeful. And I'm hearing like, baby, you got people coming in. Look, because the situation is under judgment. Sources call it judgment. And it's like, okay, yeah, now this opportunity is going to you. Um, but see that situation for what it was and leave them people out in the cold because these people are now going to be feeling like exhausted. Um, like you Again, like you deserve something that's coming your way too because they know that they did not invest in you the right way. But however they try to spin a situation i'm even getting like people are uh stressed because you could even be communicating something out loud or it's like now something where like um they were trying to hold you like somebody was working really hard in the background it could be a pisces ace of wands to like stifle your creative abilities you could have even felt like at one point you've hit some form of like creative blocks and i'm telling you it was because of some form of stress that you were dealing with because of a certain person in your life a certain somebody that could have been an air sign for some of y'all or like a water sign or you could be like a water sign or an air sign but definitely if it, especially if you were dealing with somebody who thought that they were very like calculated or just getting like people in general where you're showing people um first of all that no matter how hard that they were working somebody could even have like a book or like a grimoire that they were trying to like use to i don't know <laughs> 
somebody was definitely trying to like um slow something down for you or some form of progression especially some form of i heard you could be very like witty or very like uh you could have felt very like you just didn't feel like yourself at one point with the lovers but then it's like a new energy is going to be like regenerating for you with the ace of wands the lovers the king of pentacles again like especially if people weren't trying to invest in you in the past and then you started investing in yourself or like you just learned to love yourself and then it's like you align with somebody who is going to love you double all of that regardless of who didn't try to and then this person is is going to be just as cute as you are um or this opportunity is it's just given like it's going to be in alignment with how much work you've put in for yourself so you absolutely deserve it it's something about like a fire sign that's coming towards somebody with the king of wands and the chariot you could be a fire sign especially if you were like are a masculine and it's like you are progressing um you could be very beautiful yeah you could be a masculine could be hated on for their beauty too but i'm just getting like a spit especially if you are a feminine though like um you could even have like masculines hating on you or like um, treating you different or just people in general because you had a certain level of beauty that they were intimidated by like masculine's not even trying and treating you off bat weird because they felt like you would automatically reject them or people in general um i'm getting like especially but you have like a king of wands energy whether he's a fire sign or not who is wanting to take like some form of forward movement with you with the chariot here and the king of wands this could be somebody who wants to give like an opportunity to you let's see I'm definitely hearing like allow something to happen. This is going to be like a very beautiful change for you. I heard like again, um, you are you could be very beautiful or very like charming or very like even man or woman or very handsome, but you also have something to give. You have like very you could be very smart, um, knowledgeable, very intuitive. Like you very uh, you have something to give. Okay, you could be a, a good manifester, a good writer, a good speaker. You know, whatever it is, opportunity. Yeah. Look with savings and moving up. I heard like, yeah, you could be saving a lot of money on here. That something was in your 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 spiritual, um, like good luck pot type of energy. Like it's like a spiritual savings that somebody had, and where now you're cashing in on something where you're moving up. Sources putting you on the energy. Listen, it's giving like sources pulling you up. This opportunity that somebody's gonna be giving you with helping hand, they want to help you. Career is on the rise, new offers and opportunities, salary increase, going to the next level. You're definitely going to the next level. When I'm here, you're being separated from people who may have been trying to draw certain narratives about you at one point where if you would have stayed around these people, maybe it would have tainted. I'm not saying you at who you are, but people's view of you or who you truly are. Because what is that saying? Bad company corrupts good character or something like that. Not saying that you have a type of character that could be corrupted or molded, but it's like people who, that you were around could have been like, um, maybe they weren't the best company to keep or like, I'm saying you should judge these people. Yeah, somebody's like, you could even be going on vacation soon or be able to take like a some time off or a hiatus because of some type of freedom or yet you're going into. Somebody, I'm, yeah, every time I see this vacation card out here, vacation and now that it's coming out with partnerships, somebody may want to take you like on a vacation or yeah with star power but i would definitely was getting like some type of energy that you hold and this is why people may have treated you funny because obviously baby you've, you've always stood out and again something about your wisdom but especially like the star power that you i heard you radiate this and it's always been something about you that let people know that hey this person is like different they're going somewhere they're very talented they're not gonna be here for long where maybe people felt like they wouldn't move out of their hometown for where however long where they knew that oh it's only a matter of time before this person moves around it's only a matter of time before this person takes off it's only a matter of time where you know this person transforms their life or you know somebody could even be like winning the lottery soon i heard like people wanted to take a gamble on like if they should treat you right or not at one point but it's like now you starting to take gambles on yourself i'm here like trust yourself well, yeah because that's why some form of success is coming in for you um, with fertility here you're very fertile with like these new beginnings that's going to be coming in for you with wellness somebody could be like really healing like they're something about the color purple but somebody could really be healing like their womb space or like um so some form of fertility because that's that has something to do with your creative energy too especially if you were feeling blocked or you were feeling drained or you were feeling like you just didn't have it in you or you just felt very like you didn't feel that um that lust for life type of energy um but yeah somebody's focusing more on their wellness their health somebody could even be like a wellness coach because spiritual coach, um, you're very successful and very good at what you do, baby. People cannot discredit you. Look, mind power. Like I said, you have something to give with gift. You have a gift that was given to you by the divine with mind power that it's like money. People could money couldn't buy this gift. People would pay to have this gift, but money couldn't buy it. And people may pay you for this gift, but it's something that you're very talented at. Again, it could be a gift, could be anything for some of y'all. It's not gonna be spirituality for everybody. It could be like a spiritual gift or like a gift of like maybe somebody's very photogenic. Again, going modeling. It could be anything. 
Um, you will discover new talents that will lead to new opportunities. Use these opportunities that will arise. And these opportunities are obviously what's going to help you to move up. I'm hearing um, on a totem pole or something like that. Like you're going to be moving up on just in a career or a space or a certain uh, area. Maybe you're like, it's like, say you read tarot, you're really perfecting your craft. You're really good at it. This gift has been given to you. You use like your, you know, your mind power. You can, you can, you can read like a, the room, the, the cars, more than just cars. You can read energy. Somebody's, you can connect with people like by talking to them and just see what's going on in their mind, their body, their heart, their spirit, their lives, and just connect with people. I'm just going to like, somebody here is like very powerful, especially like mentally, some form of like mental strength that you have or intelligence. It's like you lead with your like some form of like intuition. And this is a gift with fruits of your labor. And like you could have been putting a lot of work in and now you deserve this, baby. With direction. Look, you did it by the book. You were somebody who was very like directed by source. Something about your direction could be changing now. With loyalty, again, those loyalty, the loyalty came out twice. Very loyal energies coming into your life that you're actually being guided towards celebration. People who are going to openly celebrate you. People who are not going to be silent about your, your, um, your accomplishments and your successes but then try to be loud about like things that don't even matter or things that maybe you have maybe you because everybody falls short i'm not gonna say it don't matter maybe you've done things that maybe have hurt people in the past or things that is what you weren't fully proud of but it's like okay you took accountability for that you you did the work you tried to change you apologized you moved forward you forgave yourself hopefully you, you asked these people for forgiveness or you were hoping that they forgave you whatever whether they did or didn't or whatever because again we're all human we're here to learn and grow from each other but it's like maybe there are people in your life who wanted to keep bringing up the past or keep bringing up the old version of you rather than seeing that you were a gift or accept you for a certain gift that you had rather than watering a certain gift and it's like like now these people are seeing that like they did not pour into you the right way they did not celebrate you the right way and it's like i don't know they could have seen themselves in the energy of like, i don't it's just people are now seeing that you have always been very guided and you were being guided towards people who are actually a fit to be loyal towards you people who are going to celebrate you the right way money matters something about your money could be it's definitely changing um i heard like investing in yourself wisely you are definitely being um uh, told like you could even be wanting to be like an entrepreneur but something about you needed to learn how to like handle money first or like invest first and self with social status somebody could be like a social media influencer or something about your your social status again it has to do with like from some form of a star ranking or star power that you hold people cannot take that from you i'm here with wealth and it could even be like something that you do like maybe you're monetized on like a platform or like online with money matters this is what's going to be changing soon um Somebody, I'm just hearing a lot of like coins like falling into like, you know what, it's like a jackpot, like something. It's because I was hearing like in my head, I was hearing ding, 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 like, yeah, somebody like this coins. That coin. And I heard if source is closing the door on certain people, it's because they look, y'all, y'all better understand. <laughs> Endings. If source is closing the door on certain people, it's I hear it before I see it. That's that intuition. That's that clairvoyance. But yeah, it's because look, um, they're meant to, that's meant, that's over with. Okay, let it transform. Let it, let it in. Let the chips fall where they may you want to be like ching 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 some money tree and every time a ching money comes to me it all flows in so abundantly from the top left right and up under me wave 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 i'm a money wave money come money go money stay so somebody could definitely be like saving their money and like something about you gotta spend money to like get money don't be in the energy of like holding on too tightly because that's lag but you could be finding like a healthy balance of like how to maneuver with like money financial i'm hearing like um intelligence and stability um and knowledge but it's something about money matters. You could be getting like more information or like how to cut costs, but also um, something about your dreams coming true, especially pertaining to like wealth. But trust that these endings that are happening are for your highest good source. When look transformation, y'all, it's gonna send you through a transformation. Something about uh, DSD Los Motos. I hope I'm saying that right. The day of the day, it was like May fifth or something. I don't know when that is, but something about. I heard like an ancestor, y'all. Somebody, y'all could be like honoring your ancestors. Somebody could be like Latina, Latino, or a, a Latin. Uh, somebody could be like, yeah. But some form of like money is coming to you with home base. Somebody could be getting like a new home soon. Change your environment. I definitely get that energy. This is what Source was trying to get some of y'all to do. And for some of y'all, a new field, a new, like a lot of people that you're going to be around, they're going to be so different than the people who are around you. I'm even seeing somebody who, like, a lot of people are making you feel very weird for, like, your features. They say, like, you get a modeling contract, and the other models, like, oh my God, girl, you are so beautiful. Like, then you're, like, this stands out about you. I like the way you, like, oh, look at the way she, but then other people were trying to make it seem like that's just so weird. But then you're around a lot of other people who, too, were, like, maybe shunned for their differences, or who, too, they see the beauty and, like, the differences or, like, the oddballs or the people who, like, you're going to be welcome to like an environment of like people who almost like understand a little bit about some you or like people who are understanding about what you want or like this maybe if, even if it's not the same specific thing about what you want is like um they understand about like um 
maybe wanting more or like uh maybe not it's just it's, it's something about something that you went through you're going to be around like like-minded individuals who are very loyal to you who are going to celebrate you not saying that everybody that you're going to be meeting at least and this opportunity i heard these parts um are going to be for you with guardian energy but just know that you're protected either way it go whether they're for you or not again you could be seeing people with yeah you have a very authoritative guardian angel around y'all especially if you're like stepping into like on a new authoritative position where people may want to dethrone you it ain't happening it ain't happening with many choices some of y'all yeah you could be having like many choices soon where you're going to get to choose now where people may have wanted you to feel like you were the one who like they had to they get to choose from you and you if i don't choose you then like yeah okay but you have a guardian angel who's like really protective over you they don't play about you and trust that your guardian angel wants what's best for you especially like somebody has a very powerful like foresight you're, you're a seer your third eye baby wide the fuck open fruits of your labor you can already know that some form of like um success is, you're very like you know which way to go or at least people see you or they feel like you do with direction like you know almost how to like maneuver something and again with loyalty you're going to be meeting very loyal people who again are going to celebrate you with social status somebody can even be getting like a lot of like attention online or like you are someone who has like a very like good reputation or high reputation it says you will reach the heights of fame in society don't get arrogant like remain in this energy of like modesty humble uh, humble um energy or something like that too because you never know along the way who you might meet or who you might come across or who you like later on might need um i know that's a piece of advice rihanna gave like she's somebody that i really love um um especially like her success story and just the humbleness of what she's still like the way she interacts with like her fans and like she's just very down to earth to me um and she's billionaire amongst a lot of people who were like in her era too who did not reach that same type of and i just feel like because she's very wise and of how she moved and like who she was at heart um despite what she may have she was immature at one point too she had her certain lessons and things she had to grow and learn through and forgive herself for and others for and, and i feel like she is of a spiritual warrior bloodline so for some of you you could be the same um but you are somebody listen social social status and power power by beyonce you will not take my power or something like that they cannot take my power or whatever she was saying you are somebody who's always going to be provided for i just feel like that's a given um by the divine but it's something about you being crowned of some type of social status that's going to you. Something that's going to you with a certain level of power that that was always meant for you is going to you. And again, you may have worked really hard for this. So it's not just like something that's just going to you for no reason. Or it's just like maybe you've been putting in a lot of the spiritual work for this. Where you're now going to be sitting in a certain like level of authority or power. But I'm hearing like an authoritative position, which is source, gave you this power, this access to this power. Where people may be wondering, where did you get this type of power from? Or where does it come from? Where does it flow from? This is coming from the divine. Okay. Somebody's schedule may be changing soon, so you're gonna have to be like more flexible in a schedule. Um, or you're gonna have to be able to move around again with wisdom. But trust your wisdom, trust your intuition. Um somebody could really like owls. You have a tattoo of an owl, I heard for somebody out there with wrong decision. Like, yeah, trust your intuition. Um with this wrong decision energy, I feel like so that you won't make the wrong decisions, but I'm actually getting like, again, it's like you could have made the wrong decisions in the past. It happens, but it's something about this level of wisdom where you've grown, you see the error of your ways, you've outgrown like that old version of yourself. You're using your best judgment now. But again, for some of y'all, you're just being told to think before you act because you don't want to make the wrong decision moving forward. For some of you, somebody felt like they, or just people in general felt like they made the wrong decision when it came to you because you're now being blessed with like new beginnings with love life. And it could come in like the form of love and just just new opportunities coming in for you look with wealth and alchemy but because you're alchemizing your life especially if people tried to make you feel like you didn't deserve whatever that they could give if at one point they were in a better space than you or they could have gave you something whatever the case may be but they didn't and it's like you go through a transformation to where you don't need these motherfuckers no more i heard like this is a like somebody is bad michael jackson <laughs> okay um some form of wealth that you're calling in with alchemy like you really put the work in for this um somebody may even be using like manifestation skills or like some form of a sacred knowledge um for some form of like wealth i heard like new collaborations you could even be collaborating or going to like networking events with the ace of wands three of pentacles um i'm even getting like something about you are very loved or like lovers really just wanted to connect with you at this time just understand that you're coming out of a season where people were really trying to like i don't know what that was about like, let me go ahead and pull it pull from this bit but maybe people were trying to like get over on you but you see through people now that has them like because you do it's not even like you are in the energy of like i see you and you better change this like i see you and i thank you for allowing me to see you and i'm done with you 
with commitment here and for somebody it's like they're scared because you may even have like a new lover coming in with cycle like you close out a cycle where people were thinking like you were going to keep going on a cycle over and over and you were just like no <laughs> And um, yeah, with commitment, you can even be committing to yourself. I'm hearing like somebody committed themselves to like the divine. You could be like very abstinent with, because this this demo wanted to come out in the uh, reverse dependency. So you could have been very codependent on like passion, very things that you were passionate about, people, sex, drugs, alcohol at one point, or just other things, or maybe people wanted to keep you bound in these energies. I don't feel like you are. I feel like you've healed that, or you're healing this energy. It could even be like a divine masculine now healing this energy of like codependency or a divine feminine um but you're no longer codependent upon the same things or vices with union and this for some of y'all this is like you're now one step closer or closer to like a union that's meant for you with completion damn straight <laughs> somebody say i'll be going shikari richardson on these cards i know that's right they say girl abundance so I definitely feel like even how like Shakari Richardson, how she said like, okay, I remember she said like something wasn't meant for me. People be saying like, oh, um, uh, it's about time now, you know, you won this for award, but she was like, no, it wasn't meant for me then. It was meant for me now because I wasn't ready for it then or it wasn't time then. I, maybe I wouldn't have been able to appreciate it the way I am now. It's like you, people are seeing you in a very mature energy that you are now coming into like with yourself. With abundance here and it's like aligning you with some form of abundance like a, some form of abundance that's going to be growing through a release like a purge and also a union that's coming into your life with home somebody definitely could be like getting a new home with masculine yeah it's even giving like a you could be the divine masculine i mean if you're getting like um a masculine coming towards somebody they, they're going to see you as their home no matter if you are the divine feminine or masculine it's like somebody's going to see you as like their home their safe space this person and vice versa is going to feel very comforted towards you and comforting towards you with that individuality card that came out earlier like you really look look what's out here y'all we had a union and it's like this is i'm here right on time there's no such thing as like I, I believe in divine timing but timing does not exist you know time does not exist with masculine and feminine this can even just be you now you're in a very very balanced energy with your divine masculine and the feminine energy but it's giving with union here a union is coming together um just in general with universe the universe has been like pushing forward um somebody may be meeting someone who wants to give you an opportunity because something about new beginning in love life shed those old energies okay because they weren't for you anyway they were just meant to be like lessons or something like that and something about somebody that's coming in for you something about you relocating or a home or like you somebody seeing you as like home to them with guidance so the universe is really guiding somebody. You are somebody, again, with independence. You could meet somebody like in a certain level of independence or when you're alone, when you're single. Again, if you're not, I'm here. you won't meet some, this person if you're still holding on to something or someone that you know. It's like it's codependent, it's toxic, it's low vibrational, it's not growing. It's it's just, yeah, with dreams, it's not allowing you to f fully fly or uh, spread your wings into who you truly are. I feel like some type of dream is going to be coming true for you in whatever way, shape, or form that could be. Whether love... There's something that you've manifested is just giving like the universe is really trying to give you what you want. Somebody is really, really, really loved by the universe. A sweetheart I'm here with. You are such a sweetheart. It's giving like a very soft, plushy energy I'm getting for somebody with future. You could like see the future or like um like nobody knows like the future 100 percent But like you could see that like people would see that you got like a bright future or something about your dream is like actually gonna take off. Somebody may have a dream catcher with self-worth you're very beautiful and again it's like something about you knowing that or you knowing your worth with innocence what did i say somebody's very soft somebody has a very innocent energy to them uh it's like an energy i'm even feeling like people gonna be feeling shitty about like the way they treated you because it's like why would you treat this type of person in that type of way like this person is like it's like an energy of like you didn't even if people feel like you wronged them like you didn't do things that would warrant what these people were doing to you and it's like even if people knew that somebody was doing something to you behind the scenes or people were like attacking you at one point or judging you or like talking shit on you or shunning you this is how you're being seen not in the energy of like that you're just soft or like i mean somebody could be i was getting a very like queen of cups type of energy like you're very like you could be very emotional and very like man or woman or you're just very loving you're very sensitive and uh maybe people wanted to play on that but like the divine saw everything and it's like you're somebody that's going to be coming in is going to want to protect this about you unconditioned trusting vulnerable peer like you almost had like a very unconditioned way of viewing the world and people may have tried to come in and taint your view of the world or everybody else to get you everybody gonna do this if you go out there they're gonna they're gonna it's giving that energy of again the um, their eyes are watching god with janie how she was like young i'm ready to like experience life and then like how who was that i forgot his name he came at joe and he just was like trying to taint she was more youthful and 
he was trying to like taint her view of the world or what protection you were being very protective from someone or a certain situation or the way that somebody was trying to like project something onto you they could have went through like a very dark like background where you don't have that same type of energy you see like the world through a lens of love and this person don't would allow like yeah you're being very protected so allow like some form of change to happen um but again it's like you're very protected because again source sees you as like that energy of like the lamb type of energy like source protects his the, her, the what is given like the shepherd protects his sheep so you guys are being very protected because you do hold a very pure hearted energy like you're somebody who like you could be in a very like people thought you were very vulnerable at one point because you were very unconditioned you were very trusting you were very like open or maybe people in the past were like i wouldn't be distrusting or if i were this person like i would have known that person was out to get them because who would just trust but you were somebody who like you're very you wouldn't expect people to move like that because you don't move like that but it's like it also taught you i'm hearing what people don't know but they're going to be seeing is that what they did to you was actually giving you like more wisdom knowledge and it was giving you like street smarts especially if people thought that you weren't street smart before they felt like they could get over on you they felt like whatever with healing because it actually taught you to heal yourself it taught you to love yourself more even if you did feel like you did you did before but it's like even more so now with communication so you are somebody like yeah you are very very you could have a, like, a very innocent way of like communicating and people were like very harsh to you they spoke harshly towards you and this is like people gonna be looking at somebody like what the fuck is wrong with you why was you doing all of that towards this person what the fuck is wrong with you with past like you could be even like communicating something about the past healing something pertaining to the past now i heard finally like opening up about something that happened to you that maybe you didn't speak on before so where somebody did a healing they didn't expect you to finally get that courage to open up and her like you speaking about something could even be putting somebody else to shame about something that maybe they didn't want you to speak up about with choice and this is your choice i'm hearing to like move forward to like being this energy of like healing you actively chose to heal yourself whereas people were choosing to stay stuck they were choosing to stay in the same d dynamics and and codependent energies and blame other people where you 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 made the conscious decision to move forward you didn't want to stay hesitant and stagnant you were doing the inner child work you were doing the ch shadow work you were loving yourself choosing yourself focusing on yourself and it's like when you least expected that's when some point like an opportunity came in with the past and communication like somebody from the past maybe coming back around and communicate with some of y'all with individuality and if that's the case i'm just getting it's like somebody was never able to get over how different you were especially if this is somebody from the past coming back around to communicate because it is two hearts on this card it's like somebody never was able to like they almost feel like they still connected to you they were never able, or just people in general feeling like they should have treated you right. They they can't get over how they treated you or how pure you were to them and loving you were to them despite how they treated you or what they were trying to do to you, whether you were aware of this or not. But you were very different to people, whether they feel like at one point you did wrong them, but still like you were very, it wasn't like an intention. You just were very different. Um, You were the person that like, no matter how they tried to spin a narrative, you treated them different than other people that they met in their life you loved them different you interacted with them different type of energy with transformation and again this energy of almost like being rejected or being not chosen by people with intuition it caused you to go deeper into your intuition like it caused you to like have to zone in on these like spiritual abilities like where you had to like transform with completion and again it sent you through a completion of a cycle that maybe you were almost like you needed to learn lessons about yourself and these other people so now where you can't explore somebody could even be like traveling soon um, I heard explore the present moment um, and trust your intuition where, especially because you are very, it says unique perfection. Like I said, it don't matter what type of flaw that you may have. It's something about like, you may be wondering why your opportunity isn't coming in, especially if you were trying to hide certain things about yourself. Saying that you are a very loving person, but you were like acting like, oh, you know, I have to hide that because no, it's like, then that's why maybe something was on hold or like the purge. You have to shed that old version where you felt like maybe you couldn't be who you truly were and then blossom or you're going to come out of that cocoon and it's something about you being who you are is what gets you far or what gets you an opportunity is what helps people to relate to you um it's the most beautiful thing about you i'm hearing and um again if you are almost in an energy of like being unhappy it's because you weren't truly being your full self you weren't allowing yourself to be this or maybe people around you weren't or they were trying to like siphon or like dim your light but you are very you are made perfectly i'm here divinely and perfectly crafted you're uniquely made you have a very rare light to you you're your own individual i'm here and it's something about you like people cannot imitate that energy even if people did try to make fun of you before people did try to make it seem like you were childish like see like like it's like the energy of like oh look at those bows in her hair like she how old are we you're so grown and you like and, but whole time it's like then you meet somebody who's like i I fell in love with you the moment i saw the damn bow like i would you know what i'm saying it's like so it's like people were trying to make you feel like you just you know what expansion and now you're going to be expanding because of like this individuality that the more people you reach meet they love it they love you for who you are your uniqueness 
It's like this goes this energy of like coming out of your shell or like people seeing you like you help, almost like you help people to come out of their shell too because of how you're uniquely yourself. People feel like they don't have to like be uh, kind of like I don't have to like you know how sometimes you know like I can't really be my full self around this person they might see that as weird. People feel like with you like they could just be their full self around you like you are very like uh, inviting and very warm energy to people. With crown here, it definitely you have a very strong connection to the divine. Emerge, listen to me, and it's a butterfly. You're emerging, emerging from that cocoon, integration, faith, and bliss. And again, it's something about your faith. People could have even been making fun of like how faithful or how tapped in you are with bounty, healing, and abundance. But it's going to be bountiful for you because you never lost your faith. Or again, I just keep getting like something about somebody that's very different. You have to learn to accept that, though. You could still be learning to accept it, or it took you a while to get to a place of acceptance with Queen B and royalty and divinity. Is it not something about the color purple? The video here, I'm having a ball. Yes, that's yes. But yeah, something about the color purple. Um, love, beauty, cosmic order with the Venus rose. So something that's happening in divine order. You're a divine royalty, Queen B type of energy. Like, yeah, it's giving that energy a bow down. Bow, bow down. It, it, by Beyonce. The lioness power reclamation. You're reclaiming your power. Wisdom, clairvoyance with the snow owl here. Remember I said something about like, did I say an owl? I believe it was. Somebody has like a tattoo of an owl or you're just very wise. Somebody's spirit animal is like an owl. And you could be seeing a lot of bees too. That's abundance. It's a form of like royalty. You, could, you are like the queen bee. Something you do, I heard like you're being crowned. It's a crown on the fucking bee's head. Are you serious? With the heart above it. So you're very loved. Like you know how in the, um, in the colony, what is it? Like a colony or like whatever that hive is. They all work for the queen bee. They do everything they can to protect the queen bee. You are very protected. This is all as well. You are safe. And I'm here no matter where you go, how far you travel, no matter who be looking at you or what they try to take from you, you are so protected. They are only hurting themselves by trying to hurt you with light body and energy and vibration because you're coming to a point where you're raising your vibration so high that people can't even affect you especially at a certain point a certain source is taking you to i'm hearing it's like you're going past the level of like people can't even like they can't survive on this level 1 11 11 so yeah heavy on like you're going through like an awakening where you're bursting through like the firmament type of energy where people can't reach you on this next level that you're going through so keep your vibration vibration very <laughs> listen y'all my intuition is not to be fucked with <laughs> okay Toot, 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 toot. No, I'm just playing, but service and contribution with Hive here. You are the queen bee, baby. Something that you do where it's like maybe you're going to have like other people like working for you. It's giving the energy of like people look down on a person before. And maybe you wasn't in the best place financially or you disappeared not to be. Then you find out that this person is like, oh, wow. Like years later, remember I said be, be careful how you treat people. You never know like who you might need later. Like the energy of like people thought you would never be beyond a certain person. Then years later, like you all of a sudden, like these people need you. You the head of a company or you the head of a like somebody who denied you something before and they apply years later and it's like you run into some type of foundation or like a certain area or like again you run something that you're going into or opportunity i'm here i run la <laughs> service and contribution but these people are going to be working towards they're working in your everything is working towards your favor obviously but i'm getting like people are it's like it's the energy of like it's it's almost like i don't know like indebted like i don't know if it's the energy of like people are going to be like working for you or like uh, under you or something about you being in a very especially if you are like a feminine energy where you're reclaiming even if you are masculine but it's given like a queen energy um where you're stepping into this power of where you're not hiding who you are you can see who's like secretly like i'm here like against you or not for you too because of the, the way that they're receiving you and like maybe you you could see that somebody's not really celebrating like your accomplishments or like with Venus Rose here, like, again, something that's really going to be going into your favor. I heard the cosmic order of things that it's like somebody is now blossoming into, like, who you always were meant to be with legacy here. And that's like, you are meant to create some form of legacy through the individuality. You were not meant to be, you weren't cut from the same cloth. You were like a snowflake. You're very different. No two snowflakes are the same. The pattern will be very, very different. That's how beautiful the divine is. Very intricate. So that's why I say it don't matter what somebody may have seen as a flaw. Even if you saw it as a flaw to this day, like you still learn to love something about yourself. You don't even realize how something is like very like I heard purposeful, first of all. Um, and it, it definitely could be like for some of y'all opening a new door for you that you did not see happening where emerged here. It's like or you could even be like helping again, like to bring awareness to a certain level of like maybe a disorder or something that many people did not see um, or a certain line of work that many people did not understand. Or it's like um, you are very different. And this is what's going to be bringing um, a lot of like maybe like even like success or like you just your uniqueness 
can even be like I said, where people were trying to make it seem like somebody has something wrong with them before, but it's that this very thing is what's going to be helping you to create this legacy. And it says patience. So have patience with yourself with rose, evolutionary love. Like, yeah, somebody's name could be rose. Um, somebody could like rose scents, rose notes, or rose garden. Somebody could have like roses planted. Um, but again, patience came out. So just be patient with solitude. You could even be in the energy of a spiritual solitude. Oh my god, the color purple is just and you're getting a lot of downloads, um, but you're exactly where you need to be with Swan. Self-love. You're definitely showering yourself with self-love and soul connection. It's just know that a soul connection is going to come in when it's time. If that's what you're wanting with self-worth and integrity. And for some of you, that's what you had to learn before you got to this level of like a new union, a lover, or like the opportunity. Like you had to learn for some of you guys because maybe you're going to a... a, a an industry or like even something where you're gonna have to really be firm on who you are and like your self worth, your integrity, your um, your passions, your um, look with inner union. It had to be an inner union first within yourself with lion and lioness before a union outside of you could could occur and before you could even come into this legacy with others yourself or whatever. I mean, if you get in like an energy of somebody like you're connecting with people on a global sense or you will be, baby. Somebody don't realize how big they're gonna be. You, you don't even realize, like, how significant you are to, like, this. It's something about, like, a network. You could be networking with, like, a network of people. Or, like, I'm just getting, like, the conscious collective. The collective consciousness. Is that the way that, I don't It's something about this collective consciousness, I believe. Look, look what I'm saying. Like, a, it's the fish, but it's like a school of fish. Emergence, flow. It's like, who you could be, like, teaching a lot of people. Or you're in the, you have a lot of wisdom. You're very strong. Um... I know the card, when I remember reading this card, is talking about matriarch energy. So you could definitely be like a very strong feminine energy or like you something about the women in your family being very strong, powerful energies. Or like, again, that could be like that spirit guy that's on the other side, but they've led you some form of, lent you some form of like wisdom and power. And you just stand in this energy. And again, you learn to love yourself. You learn to be in the energy of the flow. And now you're emerging with the fish here into this energy of like who you've always been meant to be, okay? And again, it's something that you do where you could do something where a certain line of work with service and contribution here, where again, something is going to be working into your favor with this union energy here, okay? Service and contribution. Whatever you do, it's like you were royally put into this energy um, and you're divine. And for some of you, you are going to be coming in like a, a awakening. A, you're going to be coming into a contact with like some form of like an emperor or like with a lion here, strength and courage. A uh, red tail hawk phoenix. Somebody's emperor could even be going through like a rebirth or an awakening with creative awakening. And this could just be you guys strengthening your masculine and feminine energy and balancing it as you go through this creative awakening. Something that you do creatively or that you do for like a craft or something like that. I feel like for some of you with soul song and rebirth, it's like a rebirth from both of these cards. Rebirth and rebirth. It mentions a rebirth. This is a time for you to integrate, for you to go into a change, for you to emerge into who you've always been. You could be in an energy of solitude, very still right now, where people may feel like you don't have too much going. But it's like they just let people think what they want to think. You're being called towards a bigger purpose or a bigger um, legacy, I'm mean, even getting. Um, so whatever this creative rebirth that you've been called towards or that you're experiencing or going towards or like an opportunity that's coming in for some of you guys, just know that uh, that's why that card was saying be patient. This is meant for you um to come in it was only like a matter of time so allow this to happen for you look what caterpillar the possibilities are still unfolding people see you in this energy of almost like they see you going through a transformation like it's so much that's so it's like i'm hearing people feel like it's so much that's possible for you and like almost like um being it's like so much that you're capable of where you almost don't even see your own potential as you're going through this transformation but other people can see it upon you listen to my oh my god oh my god chrysalis the chrysalis is right underneath of the tree you don't even see. But people may see you going into this chrysalis energy like the last time they saw you. They remember you being a certain way, a certain energy. And then you all of a sudden, it's something about a rebirth. Creation, a rebirth. Or you're now creating, co-creating with the universe. And then you come out of this cocoon. I'm hearing like go mode, dragon. Oh my God, I'm going to end it there. That's the highest spiritual animal. Like that's the highest ascended spiritual animal. Somebody could be born in the year of the dragon or have a dragon tattoo or you really like dragons. Um, but it says life force healing. You've done the work. You're going through a rebirth. And when you come out of this cocoon, you're going to be unrecognizable to people, to yourself even. And this opportunity that's coming towards you, ladybug, good fortune and blessing. You can see a lot of ladybugs too. You can be seeing a lot of like dragon images. That's confirmation. And this being the year of the dragon 2024, like before this year ends, I'm just getting like somebody's going to go through like a big rebirth. Or, like something is really, really going, especially like spiritually that's happening for you. 
no more limitations. And again, it's something about your spiritual protection. Just understand that you are seen as somebody who's very innocent, very loving, very open and pure hearted, pure spirit, spirited. And that's why some form of abundance is, is I heard like it will always be upon you in every lifetime. So that's why I'm going to end this reading, you guys. Um, that is the message. Truly do hope that you got the confirmation that you were needing from this message. Um, that you took what you needed to take from this message. And if it did resonate with you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, yeah, that's all.